Sir, so this is my first time at the Kumbakonam branch and I think uh, this uh, branch in a way represents the vivid uh, presence that we have all across India. Uh, in what, some 290 plus locations. Uh, how did we go about with this humongous activity of, you know, uh, to ensure that we are spread across the length and breadth of the country? So, uh, give us a little peek into that journey when it started out. I think when we were looking at expanding our business in the year uh, 2010 to 11, we said that we have to create an all India presence. So, all India presence doesn't mean that your presence in the major cities, so your Chennai headquarters, so these, every states have got their headquarters. So having a present headquarters is a must. But going and having creating a presence in the deeper parts of the country is also equally important. So then we came with the concept called emerging market. Is Kumbakonam emerging market? You know, but Nestle is a well established market from a commerce point of view. Right. The inner round place of uh, Kumbakonam is also reasonably well um, uh, set uh, cities uh, within this space. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we said that we must have our presence in uh, Kumbakonam. We would have probably opened this uh, place uh, about seven, eight years uh, back. Okay. And since then we created this uh, space, uh, the naturally the physical presence uh, creates high mind recall. That mind recall actually leads to a higher uh, participation of the investors in this market. We are able to serve the customers in these locations as well. I think the Kumbakonam also is connected being the center place, it connects actually the mm. nearby uh, place, which I call the hub and spoke model. Right. So, we make this as a location mm -hmm. within the 60 kilometers vicinity or 70 kilometers vicinity. You can actually service people in this market. You can develop distribution community who can become potentially the financial advisors in this place, or financial distributors in this place. And you can have more number of customers uh, getting onboarded in mutual funds. That's the way the Kumbakonam as a city. We gave. Otherwise, the, the, the nearest branch that we used to have is almost about 100 kilometers away from this place, Trichy. And now I'm quite happy to say that since then we set up, our assets have gone up by three times. The customers are the real beneficiary of this, of investing in, in the uh, capital market through Aitulas and Mutual Fund. So, they become the large beneficiary. The distribution community in these locations got built, uh, developed. So, we are able to do our training programs, we are able to do a lot of financial literacy programs. In fact, I must mention that this place, we did our financial literacy program about six, seven years back. Oh. So, uh, this helps actually taking the mutual fund industry to the Bharat. And sir, also in this journey, I'm guessing uh, a, a big role or an integral role has been of uh, the mutual fund distributors, uh, you know, who again then go deeper into the markets. We have worked towards building a robust uh, uh, network of our own and you have your next meeting with, you know, some of the mutual fund distributors from Kumbakonam. So, let's uh, head out. From our Kumbakonam branch, Bala sir heads for a meeting with mutual fund distributors. He decides impromptu to test UPI adoption and uses a local ride for the same. I am Rajendra and I am Ram Kumar. I am Rajendra. And the initial thanks for thanks. 
இண்டஸ்ட்ரி அப்போ வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒன் லேக் ரூ வந்து புக் சைஸ் இருந்துச்சு இன்னைக்கு வந்து அரௌண்ட் வந்து ஃபிஃப்டி லேக்ஸ் ரூஸ் வந்துருச்சு இப்போ குமாரத்தில் வந்து எந்த மாதிரியான மக்கள் வந்து போகிறதுக்கு ரெடியாக இருக்காங்க எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் இருக்காங்களா இல்லை ஹவுஸ் ஒய்ஃப் இல்லை எல்லாருமே பண்ணுறாங்க எல்லாருமே பண்ணுறாங்களா இல்லை ஒரு கிரே செக்மெண்ட் இவன் ஆட்டோ டிரைவர் கூட பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க அப்படியே எஸ்ஐ பண்ணியிருக்காங்க எடுத்து <laughs> 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 இப்போ அந்த மாதிரியான இது வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம ஒரு கோல் செட் பண்ணி அழகாக கொடுக்க முடியுது ஸோ மந்த்லி நமக்கு இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு இன்கம் வரும் அப்படிங்கிறதுல கொஞ்சம் தெளிவாக இருக்கிறாங்க ரிடம்ஷன் ப்ரெஷர் கொஞ்சம் குறையுது குறையுது இது வந்து ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு இனிஷியேட்டிவ் அது நீங்கள் சொல்கிறது வந்து அதில் கீ வந்து அந்த கோல் செட்டிங் கோல் செட்டிங் அந்த கோல் எவ்வளோ பேருக்கு அது புரியுது அந்த கோல்னாக்கு என்ன மாதிரி கோலை செட் பண்ணுறாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் ஹவுசிங் கார் கார் டூ வீலர் வீடு இது மாதிரி உங்களுக்கு சொல்லி வந்து புரிய ரொம்ப புரிய வைக்கிற போது உங்களுக்கு புரிஞ்சிருது ஆக்சுவலாக புரிஞ்சிருச்சு புரிஞ்சிருது அதனால் வந்து இந்த கோல்டுக்காக இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணுறதுனால அவங்க வந்து விட்ராவும் பண்ணுறது கிடையாது ரிடம் பண்ணுறது கண்டிப்பாக கண்டிப்பாக அதனால் உங்களுக்கு அசர்ஸும் குரோ ஆகிட்டு இருக்கும் அவங்களுக்கு அசை வெல்த்தும் குரோ ஆகும் சைல்டு பிளான் வந்து ரிடம்ஷன் ப்ரெஷர் கம்மி சார் ஓ அது ஸ்டாப் ஆக மாட்டேங்க சென்டிமெண்ட்டாக வந்து அதை கண்டினியூவாக ஹோல்ட் பண்ணுறாங்க ரொம்ப நன்றி நாஜி ராஜேந்திரன் ராம்குமார் நன்றி உங்களோட உரையாடினதுக்கு உங்களுடைய இன்சைட் இன்புட் கொடுத்ததுக்கு ரொம்ப நன்றி So we just uh, heard you talking to uh, you know some of the mutual fund distributors and uh, you mentioned about mutual fund sahi hai and that gives me a good segue to you know my next question to ask you that uh, you pioneered the mutual fund sahi hai campaign during your tenure as amfi chief and that helped to create a lot of recall and mind share among people about uh, mutual funds how have things evolved or grown there on a lot of awareness have come hmm. so where the awareness have come awareness have got created not just only in the cities uh, developed cities even in the rest of the countries including rural india semi urban india the people who came for the session hmm. they did acknowledge the mutual fund sariyanadu mutual fund sahi hai hmm. once it was created people are started accepting sap is the way of investing mm. and uh, and then we are seeing the numbers uh, today 50 lakh crore size mm. mutual industry will continue to grow no doubt mm. and sap today we have almost 70 lakh crore sap is coming in per month mm-hmm. is again reflection of the campaign that was started right so how do you think the savings culture uh, has evolved in the country and also the access to capital see saving culture uh, have been evolving over a period of time mm. uh, one thanks to the penetration of the banks in the country especially public sector banks have created a huge presence in the country mm-hmm. uh, post office mm. have created a huge presence in the country therefore the savings have bit a value has been there but as time uh, progresses with the mutual funds uh, increasing the penetration the naturally uh, mutual fund uh, have now become part of the mm. consideration of every investor in the country second important uh, financial savings which of course not a savings a protection in the comes from of insurance uh, and then the third which has come is um, the understanding of the savings have also gone up quite significantly because they started planning for the future hmm. uh, income stream hmm. the future income stream future needs right and um, and how do you actually build the future needs by way of savings that is why i think mutual funds have been playing the larger role which in my view uh, there is a significant progress that has happened in the mindset mm. of uh, people so india's direct benefit transfer is has been considered as a case study 
uh, would you consider this one of the most important developments for India? I think that has become a worldwide uh, probably a case study. Um, given the fact the social benefit uh, schemes hmm. uh, normally gets distributed to the local the administrative department mm -hmm. through the collector office mm -hmm. and then the local administration, municipal corporation, then we have a local panchayat right. and that's why I think money gets dis distributed or public sector banks through which you go and collect it. Mm -hmm. So now that got completely uh, changed with the direct benefit transfer. Right. I think first revolution which happened, the Jandan Yojana account mm -hmm. that got created. Mm -hmm. Every citizen in the country have to have a bank account, zero balance account. Right. So today we have almost about uh, 70, 75 percent of the, even more people mm. would have a bank account. Mm. So the moment you have a bank account, you have an Aadhaar which is there, right. then you have mobile connectivity, then naturally transferring money in the handbook in the bank account of the customer is mm. relatively easy. Therefore, the social benefit transfer schemes, mm. it goes through via via uh, through various mediums, today it goes to the customer account directly. Yeah. So that is the revolution that India has created. Mm. In fact, uh, this would have become a role model for most of the uh, world who mm. have not been so much adapted to the technology. Of course, India's social spending is very high. Right. So, close to about 60% um, uh, of the crores every year would go through the social spending, mm. either for the making the pension payment or uh, meeting the uh, health insurance uh, payment mm. or uh, giving a free insurance cover mm. or uh, flood reliefs and various things that happens. And now it all goes to the DBT, the direct benefit transfer. Sir, uh, there are so many citizens, you know, who still do not know how to make their money work, right? Either out of, it could be out of fear of the unknown or it could be just lack of awareness uh, of how to go about with it. How can we as an industry simplify investing so that more and more people, uh, more and more citizens can, you know, make use of this power of compounding? I think this is an evolution uh, process. Mm. I think uh, very fact that uh, the awareness has been rising. Mm. Also very fact that the banking industry also making uh, the wealth management product, the product that can actually help the customers of their bank to uh, multiply their wealth for which they become one of the um, advocate mm. of investing in mutual funds and uh, insurance product. So this is actually just the beginning. But also we have uh, local uh, mutual fund distributors mm. and uh, even villages. Uh, people want to look at mutual fund distribution as one of the options for their career uh, building. Mm. Uh, given the fact uh, they not only actually get people to invest in mutual funds for the long term benefit, mm. given the fact the power of company is very high. Right. At the same time it also makes his living mm. for his um, uh, mm. his survival point of view also. Mm. So it has does both. What is happening is uh, the investing uh, habit hmm. is not, uh, there is no boundary, is reaching to far and other country. Right. The next revolution will happen at the school levels once it has become part of the curriculum hmm. and then um, the NISM certification hmm. which is basically make you ready for understanding about the mutual funds and, and advice on the mutual funds. Once we have every student who pass out of the college also have NISM certification as part of his certificate that you will have along with these degree certificates mm. and my view is um, that's the beginning of uh, yeah. the big revolution that happened on the distribution side. Sir, so, Aditya Billa Sun Life AMC uh, has been at the forefront of in various investor education, education. Uh, initiatives and uh, yeah. you have also travelled at the length and breadth of the country meeting investors at large. What are some of the questions that are, you know, posed to you? What are the sort of investor preferences that you observe? So, one of the questions which always comes in every forum hmm. uh, is when to invest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, when to invest, they observe no time. Why do they ask this question when to invest? They always feel sounded it is an index. Uh, so, whether it is worthwhile investing. Hmm. These questions over a period of time, uh, people have understood that um, you cannot keep expecting the right time to come for a make investment. That is why SAP is now gained prominence. So, this question comes. Second question, which of course always comes, is how long I should invest? Hmm. Um, should I invest for two years, three years, five years? Hmm. And knowing very well uh, the investment, they are going to keep it for say many decades to come unless until they need the money for a period of time people are now start accepting perpetual mm. as one of the way of uh, investing. Mm. 
And third question is comes is how much money should <coughs> uh, mm. put in where? Mm. Uh, basically, that is nothing but natural locations. Mm. And mutual funds offers products which are of different um, uh, risk uh, uh, parameters it has, uh, catering to the various needs of different type of investors uh, taking under the risk. So that question comes. Uh, Again, asset allocation becomes one of the solutions. These are the common questions. Hmm. And uh, most of the questions is, they are all fenced. A lot of fenced are there. Yeah. So, all want fenced, they want to watch it, they don't want to invest. They are feeling happy about market going up, they don't want to make investment. These fenced as a result of this dilemma that they have in their mind. Right. Then gradually, I think, they realize that time in the market is not uh, important. Time in the market is market important. Is. That is where I think the realization comes. Okay. That, that's a good connect to my next question. We, we live in a time of instant gratification. You know, you, we want results like immediately. But investment is a long-term play. Correct. Uh, what is your advice to, to investors? Uh, power of compounding coming from equity hmm. uh, will always be the highest. Because equity, one asset class will give you return in excess of inflation, in hmm. excess of nominal GDP. Hmm. Uh, because you are digested for the cost by way of you benefiting out of the investment. Right. That equity is something it gives that. Right. So, therefore, um, one has to accept that yeah, the national class mm. actually making the investment on a continuous interval. Mm. So, no business is built overnight. Mm. Business will be built for, um, for multiple decades. Therefore, you must make the investment as if you are making the investment not for only for this generation, also building for the next generation. That means you have to give long shelf life for investment for you, for you to reap the uh, benefit. benefit. Give time for your investment as much as possible mm. as you give time for your tree to grow and give you your fruits. So, do you think financial inclusion to the last mile is, is truly possible uh, in, in the country and how do we bridge the gap between the affluent India and not so affluent India? As the employment gets better, hmm. even the rural India, the aspiration of youngsters also rising. Hmm. As the aspirations start rising, one of the aspirations everyone would have is actually how to actually multiply my wealth. And hmm. then, then you start thinking about, okay, a little bit more I can save hmm. and therefore I can actually create a future uh, the security, security which I can create for myself. I think right. once that starts coming in, hmm. you will find uh, the financial savings will become real in the country, which in my view, would happen very soon. Right now, we have about 5 crores roughly unique investors. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm assuming about 30 crores unique households. The 30 crores unique households, even if we get to the number, mm. half of that, probably I would say, we have gone beyond scratching the surface. Brilliant. And so, my final question to you, and this one is very close to my heart, which is, how can we get more women to the fold of financial inclusion? and increase their economic participation. I think one must remember uh, the fact mm. that one of the most powerful influencer mm. in every family is woman. Yeah. Um, we should not uh, discount the saying the woman uh, for four years are less. Mm. So therefore, women are uh, not invested. Mm. But every investment of every household is influenced either directly or indirectly by the uh, better half of the house. Mm. Uh, for them naturally to become financial, uh, financial, in financial independent that they have to create, then naturally they need to get more uh, involved mm. and um, they can create their own corpuses. Especially for those uh, women, the dependency on themselves is high. And the special initiatives such as Chaitra Salam Mutual Fund has been running, a special uh, initiative called For Hair. Yeah. Uh, that is something is more intended towards getting more and more women to get educated mm. on financial uh, literacy. Hmm. financial savings, importance of savings, importance of wealth creation, importance of creating independent uh, financial security. So these things, I think, will make it more uh, robust. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I think financial industry has played a very, very strong role in creating this wave of financial inclusion. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Martha. I hope uh, this uh, country continues to grow the way it is. Yeah. Financial savings become more and more better. And probably the next 10 years, the $10 trillion economy becomes yes, real. Absolutely. Yeah.
Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.